Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am making Asian shrimp Cajun boil and I'm so excited to share this one with you guys because it's so good. So if you guys want to know how to make this, please hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. Now this is a super simple and fast meal to make and these are the only ingredients that you guys need to make this delicious dish. I would definitely recommend going with the jumbo shrimp size and nothing smaller. Now I'm not going to bore you with me peeling every single one of these shrimps in a two pound bag. So I'm just going to show you an example. Make sure you go ahead and just remove all of the shell on the outside. If you need to devein them, go ahead and do that as well. And then let's move to the next step. Now that everything is removed off of your shrimp, make sure you guys go ahead and rinse it and give it a good clean rinse and then throw it into your large bowl. From this point, we're just gonna add two tablespoons of sriracha and your two tablespoons of oyster sauce. I had a little bit of trouble trying to get the oyster sauce in, so I just threw that in there, so don't mind the camera shaking or anything else because I do end up hitting it, see, right here. <laughs> but two tablespoons of oyster sauce as well. Throw that all in there and then get your gloves if you want to use your hands, you can, but I'm using gloves. And give it all a very good mix. Combining everything together, this doesn't take long at all. Just a minute maybe of that. And then this is what it's going to look like. Now let's grab a couple of green onions and go ahead and chop these up. I believe I have four in my hand right there. Use all the parts that you want. All we need is about one and a half cups to, not one and a half, half a cup to three-fourths of a cup so it doesn't need to be exact so if you have a little bit extra don't worry about it we're just going to throw it all into our measuring cup just to show you guys but you guys don't need to do this it's really good with it so i wouldn't skip this but set that aside and the next thing we're going to do is grab our butter here's the thing with the butter you can use four tablespoons and make it a little bit less spicy or you can use six tablespoons like i am to have a milder flavor of a kick and with just a little bit of heat because you guys know that my husband cannot tolerate the spice so I just diluted the flavor a little bit with the butter and it's absolutely delicious. I did use six tablespoons of butter and I did cut them into fours. So all I'm gonna do is melt this into my small wok. Use whatever pan size it is that was, that's gonna fit all of your ingredients right in there. You can use just a large 14 inch skillet if you'd like, or if you have a small wok like me, I'm just using this in there. But no big deal on the pan, use whatever you have. That small broken piece you saw me throw in there is my frozen garlic. I didn't have any that was already out, so I had my frozen one and I just, you know, broke off a chunk and threw it in there. But it's five tablespoons of minced garlic, so make sure you guys do that. Now, once everything is completely melted through, and you want to make sure everything is completely melted because seafood generally cooks very fast, especially shrimp. So, again, once everything is cooked through, go ahead and grab your chopped green onions that you just did and throw them right into the pot and then cook this until it's fragrant a good I don't know 30 seconds at most if you guys can't tell this was sped up right here sped up is that a word I made this move faster so you guys wouldn't have to watch the entire process there you go <laughs> and then add your shrimp and this is basically it for the entire recipe. I mean, this is how simple and easy this is and absolutely delicious. You may hear me say delicious a lot because it really is that delicious. This actually kind of reminded me of like, if you guys have been to like a, what's it called? Like boiling crab or some kind of like seafood joint that has like the seafood with the spices and whatever else, but it's their Cajun boil, right? But this is like the Asian kind, the Asian flavor. It's what it reminded me of. So that's why I called it the Asian Cajun boil in my quotations because really I had no other words to describe this. I didn't know how else to say what this really was for you guys to understand. But here it is. Just mix it up a few times every two or three minutes and then all you need to do is plate it. Now do not dispose of any sauce that you guys have left over from your pot because it is so good. You're gonna wanna eat this with rice or have it over some bread or toast. I don't know, whatever your preference is. But this was absolutely amazing. Use the butter sauce all over your rice. Maybe if you guys wanna use some noodles in place of it, you can do that as well. So if you guys like this recipe, please hit that subscribe button, like it and share it. And until the next meal, thank you again for watching. Watch me cook.